up guys, how are you doing? And welcome to a very sunny England. It looks like my trip to Bahrain finally brought me back some sunshine. Now, it looks like we're in a pretty unassuming car park of sorts, uh, but we have just arrived at the Lotus Driving Academy. We've teamed up with Lotus and we're spending a day driving their cars around their private test track in Hethel. We're super excited because we've got time on the skid pan, so we've got lots of drifting, and then we've got time on uh, track, and we've got some really cool instructors down here too, basically showing us how it's done. I need to go to Bahrain more often because it looks like the sunshine's followed me home. And so today I might actually have a video that isn't in the wet. So, here we are. It's also the first time I filmed with both of these guys on time. set at the we're same awesome. time. I know, I know. So we are here with Paul from the Supercars of London with his new camera and it's like oh, what very a, dead What a great inspiration and creativity yeah. you had in your camera setup. <laughs> <laughs> and of course Sam from Supercars. How On a scale of 1 to 11, how excited are you about 15. this? <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think now we're going to have a briefing on how to drive properly. And then, yeah, uh, yeah they're, gonna, they're literally going to show us the lines. And then I think the first port of call is skid pan. Yeah, skid pan time. So, yeah. See you in a moment. Okay, so Sam's just had his first spin. When I say spin, I mean quite literally, <laughs> literally first spin on track. Spins. How was that? I'm, I'm yet it's to go amazing. out, so I'm it's... looking for tips. Yeah, yeah, okay. Tips. So the <laughs> tips are, forget everything you know about being a driver. <laughs> just and start learn again. to be a lunatic. <laughs> okay. Because Martin, right. who you will soon learn, is the biggest legend in the world. Basis yeah. is then yells at you, okay. more power, more power! I'm going, no! I mean, let's try and not, not spin it and keep this thing drifting. Uh, more right foot. <laughs> Yeah, my helmet, that's not a good start, is it? So I'm on second gear, okay? Okay. And I'm just going to start off doing tight circles in the centre here. Okay. And as I accelerate, yeah. you see I put more and more lock in the steering wheel. Yeah. Nothing that's means happening. Oh, that's not right. Yeah. That's <laughs> full lock. I mean, yeah. I come on the gas pedal slowly. Yeah. And basically back on control Interesting. in the centre gear, okay? Yeah, that's right, there you go. That's cool. <laughs> So that is good work. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. You just gradually decelerate. Yes. And see how the car it comes back, back in control. straight away, doesn't it? Right. That's important to feel that and to learn that. Yes. Right. Touch, touch, touch. Oh. <laughs> good. That was nice. Interesting. It's a fine line. If you yes. don't get on quick enough, <laughs> it'll get back, back, back on the most frustrating experience for the most enjoyable experience. What is so time. frustrating that you're so naturally talented? I must be joking. It's like you get it right on the edge and you just think you've got it balanced and then <laughs> just spits you out. It's, it's so annoying, but I think because it's so hard, when you get it, it feels so good. Yes. You know? Do you know what? It gives you a, a huge amount of respect when you see the likes of Chris Harris when he's like pitching in a GT3 on a dry alpine road just sideways. <laughs> it's, it's like massive bollocks, massive skill. Well done, Mr. Harris. <laughs> yes, yeah, so next time, if we're out again. One more time. One more time, more right foot. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting times, guys. Very, very cool. I've got helmet hair. Who cares? Great day. It's actually not raining for a change, which is always a bonus. Just got back from uh, the drift circuit and now we're going out on track. This oh, this thing's so much fun, man. Cool. Straighten right. the laps. Yeah. Put me in. Just put across and you go on then, yeah?
So how was that? <laughs> well, it's just great, isn't it? It's, it's a lot of fun. It's amazing because even though it, they're sort of down on power in a straight line, like they've just got so much grip that you can flow all of that speed. That, I mean, down that straight, you're like, like trying to build up pace. But as soon as you get to that corner, it's not a, a, a waste of time because it just carries through so much speed. It's a brilliant car. It's really, really cool. Organic. How's my helmet? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm worth it. <laughs> okay, so we've done the training and now it's time to get to a proper race car. Uh, this one, there's no heel and toe because it's, it's a sequential sequential box. It was yeah, no, yeah. no heel and toe. That, yeah, it's, I've been healing and towing. You've been healing and towing in this I one? I so much healing and some, some of the towing as well. Is your toe healing okay? <laughs> but no, yeah, I usually use my big toe. Such a good quote. We've been doing some healing. Healing. And, some toe. and my toes are healing nicely. I towed the car once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've just been out for a sighting lap with Martin. You can tell straight away that this thing is set up. I mean, it's proper race car. Jumping from the Elite into this thing, night and day. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna jump in now. No more heel and toe, this is full sequential box. Let's try it out, see how it goes. slow lap and try and talk about this thing without grinning from ear to ear to ear. I'm just going around this corner. Pull so much more G's. Not sure if, if you can hear it, but it sounds like a proper race car. It's so cool. So the car we're in now, this is the car that we're actually going to be racing for the first time. Uh, slightly daunting, but the car itself is actually quite easy to drive. It's not it's not crazy fast, but it turns in hard. I just can't wait to get do my first race. It's a bit. The prospect of it is quite scary. Uh, but yeah, just having the opportunity to race this in my first race, and also the instruction my first instruction to get my race license has been with an ex formula one driver just such a special day i don't really know where to, to kind of start because today has been like an attack on the senses not only have we been learning lots it's been freezing but also we're having to make a, a great job of filming it all because it's not every day occasions like this come round. so completely worn out and now we've got to go back to the hotel and try and revise by our ARDS test tomorrow. So tomorrow's format, we're taking the V6 Cup R uh, over to Snatterton. Half of the day is going to be a track day and the second half we've got to take our practical driving test um, around the race circuit and then we have to take a written exam which of all of the stuff that we've done so far I'm more nervous about that. I haven't taken an exam for the last 15 years so yeah. 
That'll be interesting. Today has been fantastic. If any of you guys want an amazing driving experience, get yourself down to Hethel and book in to the Lotus Driving School. It is a fantastic experience. The guys here are great. You get to do things like drifting in a really controlled, safe environment, and it's just so much fun. And I know they also have an Evora experience too. So yeah, by all means, check it out. Anyway, it's back to the hotel now. Food, editing, revision, sleep. See you later. Ciao.